Moody Shine a Toucan here, a beautiful specimen of a toucan here at the Toucan Rescue Ranch in Costa Rica. What with our good looks, exquisite beaks, and winning personalities. Yes, the ranch was named after me for all these nice species. But shortly after our best friend and caretaker, Leslie, who started this ranch in 2004, began to let in other critters into our home. It first started with saying yes to owls, then it's long. Then, all of a sudden, we were rescuing everything. What could she do? When you really love animals, it's hard to say no. And so, it started. We have birds, and more birds, lots and lots of birds. Owls, a whole gang of them, a curious group. I tried to reach out to them, being they also have feathers, but uh, no go. They tend to keep to themselves. They have deep thoughts. If you stare too long into their eyes, you become entranced. Parrots, a noisy group, in all sizes, all a little quirky in their own way. They like to talk. Colorful creatures, I must admit. Not as colorful as me, of course. Interesting habits. Potus, um, uh, hard to read. I think they do a lot of meditation. A Tyra, or is it Tyra? I'm not sure, some dog ferret thing. An exotic guy, that Hershey, charming and welcoming, and he loves to roughhouse. The anteater, Tiger Lily, cute kid, you gotta love her. Monkeys, the real troublemakers. Get too close and they steal your glasses. Camera, keys and sometimes your pride. An otter, Emma. I admit, she's cute, but does that mean she deserves a fancy new house with a built-in swimming pool? Why can't I have one of those? I guess it's part of the love here, and she's ready to graduate from her tiny pool that she's outgrown. A porcupine. Oh, and a great aggressive. There's two of those. Today, it's like a well diversified community. Bella, the sloth. Uh, don't get me started on Bella, the star. The two groups always get a special peek at her, and they go on and on about how adorable she is. Oh, look, she's smiling. Well, yeah. Which leads me to the sloths. Many, many sloths. Baby sloths. Little guys that require 24-7 attention. Then there's the goofy, silly teenagers who also need a team of caregivers. Everyone goes on and on about the sloths. You think they've never seen one before. I guess they're cute, but they're slow, slow, and needy. The good news is that with any luck, they won't stay here forever. Most will go back where they came from, the wild. But I reckon we'll keep getting more and more of them. Keeping us here all safe and happy is not an easy job. One thing we creatures love to do is eat, and eat, and eat. Lots of food. Every day. At least twice a day. Shoot, I bet I eat better than you. And who brings us this food? The uh, wait, I mean the uh, volunteers. They keep that food coming. Love that. They also keep our homes clean and tidy. Some of us are messier than others. I don't want to start naming off anyone, but let's just say that you might not want to live with a young great great macaw. The volunteers make our day more fun. And truth be told, I think a couple of them may have a little crush on me. Just saying. There's also these other people called interns. I see them hanging out mostly with those sloths. They seem to have a thing for them. I don't get it. Anyway, they spend so much time with those needy little creatures. Feeding them, weighing them, even taking them to the bathroom. What's up with that? All day, every day. Alright, I admit, they do check up on the rest of us too, but no one needs to take me to the bathroom. Also, those interns have a way of knowing when one of those sloths might be ready for release. I just hope that they know that when that happens, there's no more room service. There's this fellow, Pedro, and he's a biologist. He seems to be here all the time. I see him give tours, and he's pretty funny. I always hear the visitors laugh when he talks. Personally, I don't get his jokes, but the people seem to. Sometimes I see him point to his head in a strange kind of way. I think he's trying to explain how faces work. But I like him. He's scientific and fun at the same time. Then there's Zara. She's a true animal connoisseur, which is why she loves toucans. She walks around here a lot, and I mean a lot. She does a lot of different things to keep the ranch going, and to let people know we're here. I'm glad she's here because truthfully, 
Two hands are not great with computers. She also works with this nice lady named Carol. She told me she does projects. Probably computer projects. I'm glad she likes that kind of thing. And how did we all get here? Sometimes the stories are very sad. Lots of things can happen to you when you're just trying to do your job being wild. People forcing you to live with them when you are supposed to be free. Car accidents. Electrocutions. Getting caught in traps. Awful things. Even babies orphaned because mothers are killed. But the lucky ones are brought here where we have a clinic and a wonderful veterinarian, Janet. She does everything possible to make the injured well. It would be great if she had an x-ray machine here. Then they wouldn't have to travel with the patients to another location and they could treat us right away. She also keeps an eye on all of us, healthy or not. I like her, but I must admit a sense of relief when she just passes by my enclosure to give someone else a treatment of some medicine. Janet, along with the rest of the team, work hard towards getting us back into nature whenever it's possible. Personally, I would find it hard to give up room service, but here at the ranch, that's one of the things that seems to make them the happiest. Even though the Toucan Rescue Ranch has grown and now accepts more than others just like me, I am grateful to call this my sanctuary. I know I am good hands and my other newfound friends are too. We hope you help us out by supporting our work. Until next time, adios.